The 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics is just two weeks away. Top standing venues scattered in three competition zones will hold events in 15 disciplines. Innovative architecture and groundbreaking technology make many of the venues the first of their kinds. I went on a journey to all three competition zones just to find out how many world's firsts are hidden in these mega structures. And the first stop is here. Yep, the National Speed Skating Alvo is actually where the mascot's helmet draws the inspiration from. The shape of the venue simulates the speed skater's movement on ice like an escalating spiral. It's the world's first Olympic venue that adopts carbon dioxide transcritical direct cooling technology for ice making. Well, to put it in English, the stadium uses carbon dioxide as a refrigerant to make ice which is more environmentally friendly and produces almost zero carbon emissions. That's Now I'm reporting at the Big Air Shougang. During the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, the freestyle skiing and snowboard Big Air events will be held here. This is the world's first permanent Big Air venue. After the Winter Olympics, it will be used for various competitions, trainings, and local residents' activities. What's special about this place is that it used to be a steel factory site but now it's been renovated into the headquarters of Beijing 2022 Organizing Committee and also the competition venue for the Big Air events. Now I'm at the National Sliding Center just north of downtown Beijing. It will host bobsleigh, skeleton, and luge competitions during the games. These are all winter sliding sports where athletes slide down a narrow, twisting, and ice track with different slides. This is the world's first sliding track with sheeting roofs covering the whole track. It can effectively diminish the climate's impact on the ice and lower the energy consumption of the track. Uh, architect uh, has designed uh, very good uh, terrain weather protection uh, system uh, which uh, protects uh, the track from uh, snow, from rain, from uh, sun, the curves, all the start area, everything is uh, fully uh, covered and uh, this is uh, going to be a great advantage uh, for athletes because uh, in this way we can keep uh, equal conditions uh, from uh, start to end uh, to all the participants. Uh, roof uh, in uh, sunshades uh, keeps uh, the cold inside the track and this saves uh, electricity to cool down the track in uh, warm weather conditions and as well a lot of uh, resources for maintenance of the track. From the railway station in downtown Beijing, it takes me only one hour to get to the Zhang Jiakou competition zone which is 200 kilometers away. This intelligent high-speed train is the world's first train to achieve autonomous driving with a maximum speed of 350 km per hour. This is the world's first ski jumping venue that has large hanging structure in the start area. It's nicknamed the Snow Ruyi due to its design inspired by the traditional Chinese ornament Ruyi representing good luck. During the Winter Olympics, ski jumping and Nordic combined events will be held here. What I like most about the Snow Ruyi is the beautiful lights covering all over it, especially at night. So I wonder if it consumes a lot of power. It's a LED light, so it's a lower consume of the uh, energy. And we also have a lot of uh, windmill all around these uh, mountains. It uh, provides uh, clean energy uh, to supply all the wind clusters of power. 
And not only here, all the Olympic venues in Beijing and Zhang Jiakou are powered by renewable energy. How is that possible? The world's first flexible DC power grid does all the magic. It collects the unstable wind and solar energy and turns them into sufficient and stable power supply. Zhangbei Energy Project is launched in 2020. It has four generators. Every year, it can transport 140 million kilowatt-hours of clean energy to solve the problem of the Beijing 26 stores and 1 million kilowatt-hours of demand. Creative exterior design, cutting-edge technology, and strong logistic support are all coming together. They serve to ensure athletes' best performance and spectators' best viewing experience. At the same time, minimize the environmental impact, all for a simple, safe, and splendid Winter Olympics.